when you're in the pipeline, you see a lot of these young, new writer, producer, artist coming along. And I always just love spending time with them, getting to know them. What, what drives you? But I always did it under the guise of someone else's company. Now I can pick who I want to write with. The other thing that I found is that when I was working for other people, I had to be excited about what they were excited about, not what I was excited about. I pitched to Universal, Forrest Whitehead, Jason Massey, and Brent Rupert. I went in with those three young men and said, I will give you 100% of my publishing for four years if you will sign these three with me and let me manage them. And at the time, the head of Universal was like, nah, not really interested in that. I kept putting these deals together with people I believed in and they were like, yeah, no, but we just signed this 15 year old who had a TikTok or whatever. So I'm like, okay, we're out of sync as far as what we feel like is important. Cause to me, importance is not just a voice, not looks. It is about work ethic. It's about core. It's about uh, that enduring talent that you just meet those people and you go, you have this. Carly Pierce, the way she came into this town with a conviction of who she was is why Carly Pierce is where she is now. It's why Hunter Hayes is where he is now. I met Hunter when he was 15 years old and I have all the emails of me trying to get people to write with him and they're like, well, you know, yeah, he's talented, but I just knew that my gut instinct wasn't wrong every single time. I just believe that, as the kids say these days, <laughs> gender as well as music is very fluid. We're not living in a structure. Radio doesn't get to pick what gets played anymore. I'm here for this. I am here for this fluid motion of creativity and art to just be created in bedrooms all around the world and then to be released in the world. If someone has a hundred people that love their music, they can make a living, a decent living. The bottom line is I'm trying to change my focus to what is coming. Our song structures are changing. I think Little Nas is trying to show us that subject matter is changing. Our younger artists are more free and more fluid with who they are, who they love, what messages they want. When I sat there for the Grammys and watched Mickey do Black Like Me and it just be, and Karen Kozowski is her producer behind her on the piano. She's been on that label for, for many, many years and has never had a full length album. I'm hoping that maybe her career is turning the corner and she will be able to, to just get songs and work out into the world. She's just one of our finest singers ever. Kudos to her for just waiting around until people really understood who she was. Our black brothers and sisters do not have a place in our music, even though country music is based on black music. I know. It's, it just is. And we have to stop ignoring that. Yeah. I think there's going to be a fallout for that. We are not afraid of failure. We are afraid of our unadulterated power out in the world because we have all of the tools to create the life and the music and the world and the business and the structures and the podcast and the classes. We have the power to create those without any help from anyone other than ourselves. I just have to say we're seeing some cracks and we're seeing some light and we just have to hang on. And it may not be in my lifetime. This career of mine is not about me. It is about who comes next and what they have to say and how well cared for they are.